So let's talk a little bit about um, ISO, um, shutter speeds and aperture. Let's start with ISO. What does it mean? Years ago, it was used um, to describe the sensitivity of film. And um, you would use 50 ISO film um, for low speed um, landscape photography. You would use maybe 400 ISO film for action and so forth. And the higher that you went with the ISO was for low light level. So you could get 3200 ISO film for interiors and really dark shots. And um, in this day and age, we're using digital. And it's, it's very similar. The ISO is all about the sensitivity of the sensor in your camera. And for instance, the, the lower the ISO, it, low ISO is good for, for instance, if it's a bright sunny day. So you might have your ISO set up between 100 and 200. Um, as it gets darker in the afternoon, maybe when it clouds over, you could um, bring up your ISO setting to maybe 400 or even 640, which increases the speed. Um, when it gets dark, if you wanted to do nighttime photography, you can increase your ISO up to 3200 and um, still shoot and get really nice pictures. So when you're increasing the ISO, each time you increase, you are increasing the noise in your images. Um, it, 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 with the modern cameras of today, that's very minimal. So at 3200 ISO with a great camera, then you're not going to see a great deal of difference. They're very subtle differences. So to summarise the ISO button on your camera, the lower numbers, the 100 ISO, 200 ISO, are for when you've got lots of light. Um, that's where you should be aiming to use your ISO button. And um, as it gets darker, you just increase that ISO and uh, at night, 3200, and um, you should be able to get some uh, really amazing pictures.